Good evening and Jai Hind everyone and hearty welcome to each one of you for this enriching and invigorating session on goal setting and acceleration developmental discussion by team DPS Lava Nagpur. We've already had two sessions which have been very, very promising and there were a lot of takeaways. We've learned from our mistakes, we've accepted We've also learned from other teammates how to improvise and how to implement the good things into our uh, pedagogy where we can enrich our learners uh, through facilitating different ways of telling them how to present themselves and expressing themselves through uh, developmental discussions. So what is goal setting? I need not deliberate and discuss that more, but still not only will a curriculum that includes instruction in goal setting, teach kids the mechanics and techniques of goal setting, but it will also give them early wins and it will develop a lot of self belief and confidence. As we teachers, we know that how much it means to every child to have self belief and faith that he or she can achieve something. That is, they are setting their own goals. But setting goals is nothing new to we Indians. If you, all of us have we've heard that story of the great archer, Arjuna. When Guru Dronacharya asked each of his disciples, what can you see? It was Arjuna who said, I can see only the eye of the bird. So that was his goal setting for himself. Similarly, when we throw it on our students. They are well equipped because they are 21st century students. They know what they want in life. Only thing we have to tap it and put it across to them and tell them, go the world is yours and plan out for yourself what you want. We as educators, we have to be just facilitators, provide them the opportunities so that they can achieve their goals. Once the child has achieved a certain measure of his or her goals, or they are there, then comes the role of developmental discussion where the child is talking about his achievements, his success, his failures to the parent, telling them, hey, hello, instead of you getting all the gyan from my teacher, that this is what I've done. I would like to tell the teacher, this is what I've learned. I would like to share with my parent what I have learned. So there is a shift from the traditional methodology of PTM and we move on to developmental discussion. So that is what we, in the first phase, uh, learned teachers from Lavanagpur will uh, talk about. In the second segment of today's Yamni Pawar will take us to do what is acceleration. So I would like to just share a small incident from my own life, 1985, as a young girl, when I first time got behind the wheels of my father's passionate car, the premier Padmini. He used to have a driver called Mr. Latte. And I asked Latte uncle, Mujhe gaadi hai. So he said, hai, as all the Saab's daughters are addressed in the forge, baby, he said, baby, you come, I will tell you what is a clutch, what is a acceleration, break, where to put it. So, teaching me beforehand what were the inner parts of a car, how I was to function, preparing me for driving, learning to drive, making me aware of all the inner components of the car, that was acceleration, making me ready for driving. That is what we need to do. What we are going to transect to our children tomorrow, if the teacher talks about it through a worksheet or a video, prepare the child prior to it, interacting about that lesson, that is acceleration class. But before, if, if that preparation is not done, I banged my dad's car and actually the Backlights were broken. I got a shelling for it. That was a remediation. So today's time, we need to be doing acceleration for our children instead of 
remediation and i'm sure yamini pawar will take us through this journey of how she is conducting acceleration in her class in a beautiful manner so over to team dps lava nagpur so very good evening respected director sir mukesh sir pushpi madam anupama ma'am and everyone present here a very happy new year to all of you from dps lava family we are delighted to host the first cc friday of 2022 i am yamini pawar and with me i have ms shehnaz and ms aarti together we will take you through our journey so far a goal is an end towards which effort is directed it is a desired outcome to accomplish our goals however we need to know how to set them and why do we need to set them so we started the venture of smart goal setting with some objectives experts believe that it's the role of educators to help learners set short goal and long term goals as this will guarantee further achievement outside the school environment encouraging the students to set goals academic and non academic is what is missing in the system learners should be shown the possibility ahead while teaching them to self driven and motivated the process should start as early as childhood so to enable them set their own targets and work towards setting their get achieved in due course goal setting students develop numerous abilities such as leadership skill team building teamwork accountability and overcoming challenges which are all vital in and out of school the purpose of using goal setting with student is to help understand their role during the learning process ownership through goal setting students become owners of their learning sowing the seeds to be the visionary leaders at the very outset we divided our journey into several stages preparation implementation outcomes identifying what worked and what did not work and finally the reflection the plan was dated and the objective was clear for students to set smart goals and work together to achieve them abdul kalam ji ne khub kaha hai sapne wo nahi jo sote waqt dekhte hain balki sapne to wo hai jo sone nahi dete so true so we all have dreams but to transform a dream into a goal one needs to write it down to be able to do this it was really important to understand how the goal should be written so in our preparation phase we coordinators went through all the readings and links which were shared by director sir and principal madam and then we cleared our doubts by discussing with rashree ma'am so as it was decided that each student will frame one personal goal and one academic goal we had also begun working on the formats and here are the formats and these formats were uh, customized uh, class wise also so here is an academic goal where you can see one for english hindi third language mathematics social science science another one is a personal one where the child can set the my, my smart goal can do the checklist what are the support system what steps he will take and how will he know that where he is now so this was a personal goal format then we also prepared a professional goal format so we mailed the formats and all the reading materials to teachers to and as a simulation exercise and ask them to set one personal goal and one professional goal for themselves so to help teachers to get a process hang on process a goal setting exercise was conducted for them and teachers learned to fine tune a goal and make it a smart goal so so this a jamboard session was taken and i tell you we took around one and a half hours to fine tune only three goals to make it more engaging a quiz was also inserted for the session another session was taken with grade 3 to 8 teachers again an assignment was given to the teachers where they were asked to set a professional goal for themselves so i would like to show some goals set by the teacher so this is one of the professional goals set by a teacher that she wanted to 
do one of the Google certification level two, and she achieved that. Sonal Kamle, ma'am. What steps she took? She everything was given you. So inform uh, next was the parent orientation. So to inform the parents about the goal setting program, an orientation was organized for the parents. So we had two orientation programs, first for ninth and 10th grades, and second was for third to eighth grade. The parents were apprised about the need for goal setting for their wards. A measurable short-term goal is needed. Is the goal attainable? Is the time spent appropriate? Now parents need to be there for their wards as they set up their vision for the future of all. Each parent has to walk alongside as the children achieve minor goals and see it convert into major ones. This brought us to the end of prepping, and now we were set for implementation. But in implementation, it was a challenge. It was a challenge to schedule a one-to-one -one goal setting session with a handful of teachers. So after a lot of brainstorming, we prepared a schedule, and the actual implementation of the plan began. We formats were sent to the students via their class teachers. After school hours, the teachers undertook one-to-one -one interaction with the students to discuss and urge students to set goals. So it was heartening to see all the students give words to their dreams and desires. A goal set far, many light years ahead, was brought closure, made tangible. Students wrote and they rewrote. Little by little, we fine-tuned them, made them smart. For example, if one has to improve some language skill, so he has to read some books. We asked how many and what time, how much time. So the trick was to set a goal which was achievable and also measurable. So it was a Herculean task to mentor students as they set smart goals for every subject. So this was our schedule for the goal setting session where the students discuss their goal and work to make them a smart goal. So this is our schedule the time was given to them and at what time they have to uh, talk to which teacher was clearly mentioned there now students first learn the skill of setting goals they shared their goals with their teachers and during individual meetings the students fine-tune their goals to make them a smart goal and these are some samples from the grade 5 and grade 10 students where you can see how they have made the and these are some screenshots of individual meetings one-to-one -one meeting with the teachers you would like to show some clippings also for the goal setting meet okay so kya karenge aap iske liye kaise handwriting sudharne ka kaisa prayas karenge kya karenge पांच से दस लाइन लिखेंगे एक दिन में yes, है ना कितने बजे से कितने बजे तक करेंगे कब लिखेंगे कितना लिखेंगे पांच से दस लाइन तो बता दिया पर कितने बजे से कितने बजे तक करेंगे मैम चार से चार बीस चार से चार बीस करेंगे ओके ट्वेंटी मिनट्स आप पढ़ेंगे वेरी गुड ठीक है पर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स आपको रोज बैठना है अंशुमन है ना yes. और स्टेप कैसे क्या स्टेप लेंगे आप कैसे जाएंगे कैसे ट्वेंटी मिनट का शेड्यूल जो आपने बनाया है उसको कैसे पूरे करेंगे क्या क्या करेंगे इस बीस मिनट में बेटा मैम पढ़ेंगे एक पैसेज हिंदी टेक्स्ट बुक में से उसको लिखेंगे उसको लिख कर देख ओके तो क्या करेंगे आप इस... Now let's see one more clipping for grade four student. So what you have written for your goal? Ah. Uh, English sentences. Ah, uh, first stop presenting, Swamya, and you can read from your. Okay. Fine. Yes. So, what goal you have taken for your English? 
Ma'am, that I will improve my English sentences. Sentences. How will you improve your English sentences? Ma'am, I will read two story books a day. Story a day. I will read English newspaper and I will talk in English. Okay. So every day you will read two stories, as you have written. And you have written stories from book also. You will read. So you will improve your reading. So you have set goal for improving your reading skill. Okay. So uh, three steps you have taken that you have you will read two. You have to write those things which you can follow. Okay. So you have to write those things which you can follow. Now I invite Shainaz, ma'am, to take you further for the next stage. Thank you, Yamini, ma'am. The exercise was holistic, but like all novel path, it was fraught with few challenges. Getting the students to understand, setting their smart goals after school hours, it was difficult. With the pandemic peaking, many homes were ridden with COVID and hence, Getting the students to attend the meetings took a back seat. A few students couldn't gauge the need for it. Hence, they were met again and again until they could break down their goals into islands of achievable, clogumerated goals. Here, the role of parents was vital. They had to guide their wards for streamlining their thoughts. We found abundant support from parents, barring a few. Teachers, busy with their new session, found it difficult to juggle between goals of different students. Exams of lower grades hurdled the ease of work and inhibited the flow of the process. And with that, few teachers and their family members fell ill due to COVID. But these challenges could not subvert the spirit of the school's vision. Well, all's well that ends well. These sessions taught us that it's never too late to set our own goals. Measurable goals are easy to weigh and quantify. Qualitative goals, they need a specific unit of measurement. But as beginners, we were happy to take a small step to bring to the minds so young and so infertile the creation of goals an awareness about the ambition of a child and there were parents either to step up or step down in furthering their own dreams a student takes charge of his life and goes all the way to achieve his or her goal a free, independent mind is set, directed and aligned in the right direction. Here we ask ourselves, did our students set the right goal? Was it achievable? Was the goal far-fetched? Were the parents with the children in their path? Did we follow up well? Such questions linger in our minds. But even though we had missed out to check each one of them, we made sure that the students had an eye on their goals. We are so here to tell you that we care and its responsibility is to see each and every student achieve his or her goal. Taking a cue from the previous sessions of Nasik and Varanasi, we have framed learning contracts. During the discussion with the students, we found that they had too many goals to set for each and every subject. That made it difficult for them. That made us brainstorm again to find a solution for this. Aarti Ma'am will now share the outcomes of the brainstorming sessions with you. Thank you, Srinath Ma'am. Time does not stop. 
we ideate, apply, experience, make mistakes, re-ideate and re-implement. Post the brainstorming session, we arrived at the conclusion that the students from grade 3 to grade 8 will set only one academic goal and one personal goal. A mentor teacher will be assigned to each student to facilitate and help child evaluate and review. A learning contract which was missing last time was added to the format and we plan to make it more descriptive and personalized during the next session. The student set SMART goals but something was missing. And evaluation and review of the goal is very important. With the addition of these two elements, students in the second term will work towards setting smarter goals. It was observed that the goals were set all, set well, but devoting time for evaluation and review could not be done on a regular basis. So setting smarter goal was the solution, where students and teachers will work together to evaluate the goals set by students and the path and progress. The students will understand that reviewing the goals is very important to keep a check on their progress. While going through the goals, it was, reali it was realized that the goals set by the students were mostly outcome goals. We even got responses from grade 4 that the child, uh, child's goal is to get an admission in National School of Drama or getting full marks in all the subjects. But when the teacher met them, the students were not even aware that what they need to do and how to reach their goal. Here it was realized that the type of goal is really important. While the goal setting is done, do we think about the type of goal we are setting? What type of goal do students need to set? We need to work on setting process goals and not performance goals or outcome goals. Students mostly set performance goals or outcome goals. But they are too young to understand the right way to achieve them. Process goals, which are more about the actions, are the solutions for the young minds. Process goals are, are the, mostly based on the actions needed to achieve their goal. Outcome goals are mostly the winning goals. Process, performance and outcome goals have a linear relationship. This is important because if you achieve your process goal, you give yourself a good chance to achieve your performance goals. If you achieve your performance goal, you have a better chance to achieve your outcome goals. Goal setting with students need to be accompanied with individuals, individualized feedbacks. During term two, during term one, we created editable PDF formats which were shared through an assignment section in the Google Classroom. But collecting all the responses and took time and it was a tedious task while giving feedback to move from one file to another. So for the second time, learning from our own work, we realized that Google Forms were a better option for this. We provided Google Form with limited number of questions. The students were encouraged to accept their mistakes and their, uh, if they have missed out their goals, they were, they were said to accept that and positively mark in the Google form if they have not achieved their, uh, their goals. So a condition-based form was created where students were asked first if they have achieved their first term goal or not. And then accordingly, based on their response as yes and no, they were directed to set a new goal or if they haven't achieved the first term goal, they were asked to review and rethink why they have not been able to achieve the first term goal and what they can do. And after that, they were asked to reframe or revisit and rewrite their goal here in the form. Now I would like to share the response sheet with you. I hope the form was visible. Yes. Sir. This is the form 
this is uh, the response of the students so the second stage all the students have responded and this data reflects how many of them have achieved the goal and how many of them are yet to achieve so the second stage in term 2 was providing students with a mentor before that let me share some students reflection how they have uh, what is their experience about their goals i am prashwil pradeep borkar of class 10 and i am here to put forward my points upon the goal setting initiative by the school it was an amazing initiative by the school we all like we all are like and guided by science and it just gave us a guidance to work upon our goals and like i had a goal in ssc that i will read each and every chapter of ncert and i was able to achieve it uh, very successfully and that's why i was able to achieve very good marks in term 1 ssc board exams and i'm looking forward to the next semester and uh, thanks school for uh, the initiative they have done the goal setting hello everyone this is arun kinderle from tnc and today i would like to tell you about my goal achievement firstly i am happy with my performance of term 1 exam as my parents and my teacher helped me to increase my confidence level but i couldn't compete as one of my goal was to do 30 questions in a day but i was able to do only 15 to 20 questions far from my goal but it was better than my past study schedule but now for term 2 exam i will try to solve more than 30 questions in a day which was taught in my class and i will start my pre my preparation from now onwards and sincere towards my goal Hello everyone this uh, is Arjun Kinder from Tensi and today I'm Hello everybody my name is Umaid Alvi and today I'm going to tell you about my goal my goal was about to become better in chess now I am better in chess I am I can even win from my parents in chess. Thank you. These were some reflections shared by students who achieved their personal and academic. And yes, there were children who uh, were not able to complete their goals. But yes, they are all set to achieve them, or and they have reframed them for the term two. a mentor is the xylem which entraps all potential of the students rise up to the leaves shows them the sunshine of success mentoring is being watched every time during the last term each child was expected to sit individually with all the subject teachers for review but many times it was not possible due to other engagements and the time dedicated was not enough learning cannot take place by without the right feedback so the second stage in term 2 was providing the students with a mentor each child has been assigned a mentor to make the journey of achieving goals more effective now the mentors are going to sit with the students and guide them through their journey i'm sure this these were the few changes which we brought uh, in the term 2 and i'm sure we will find some more ways by the end of the term to make the entire practice more effective and successful and take it to a higher level now i invite shainaz ma'am to take us further in this journey thank you aarti ma'am care calls the word care call reminds us of telephonic check-ins for loved ones to make sure everything is okay We undertook the reassurance calls to the students under the care calls. Every evening after the classes, the teachers dialed the students' parents assigned to them to assure them that they cared. These times of the pandemic 
to be loved and asked for is a blessing. Every fortnightly, the rotation of the subject teachers touch the hearts and minds of the students. Some complained, some smiled, some praised our work, and we listened. The care calls were not the regular calls of parents, teachers, to discuss the academic performances, but it was a relation building attempt. We teachers started online and couldn't connect with our students. The care calls served as a bridge to peep into the world of our students far away from their classrooms. The outcome was a warmth, an understanding, a familiarity with the parents. We did it a many times and came out joyous. Gradually, the care calls got converted into developmental discussions with the parents and the students alike from August onwards. Here we had some snippets into the developmental discussions. Good afternoon, Sahasra. Good afternoon, ma'am. After one month now. Yes, ma'am. After a long time. After a long, long time, yes, for goal setting. So how is the doing going? Yes, Are you finding it easy, difficult, following your goals? Okay. So what is the difficulty that you're facing? Maybe first we will start with English. Okay, in English, like I'm trying to read many books and making myself uh, write about something, any like topic. But uh, then also I'm getting some mistakes in uh, like in writing. Okay, that's... Uh, see, I can just give you a, just a bit of a help. Why don't you... Maybe when you uh, write something that you're very, very passionate about, maybe it will make you think more, right? You can try it this way. Maybe when next time we meet up again, so you can tell me how is your progress going with that uh, hint that I gave it to you. And what about SST? Notebook daily likhoge, aur usme date daloge apne. Date roj ki dalke, uska kaam roj apna kaam usme karoge. Beech beech mein teachers aapko bolenge, sake. इम्प्रूवमेंट किया Taking as inspirations from Delhi Public School Nasik, we do aspire to take the students-led PTMs from here on. Every learner has to take responsibility of his own learning. Even a teacher can't control it. We can only facilitate it. It's the learner who has to do it. He has to define the purpose of his learning, develop understanding, struggle, and overcome obstacles in their learnings. So for the coming term, it will not be PTM, but it will be SLM. To get the desired result, process plays an important role. Students will prepare the presentation, which will be validated by the teachers, and then we will be sharing it in the student-led meet. Education can be transformational for the individual, but I want to ensure our educational offerings are transformational for the world. Setting that goal is one of them. It is on us as educators to facilitate this change. With this note, we would like to thank all of you for your patient listening. Thank you. Yeah, thank you everyone. And I'm sure there has been a lot of takeaway for Varanasi and Nasik teachers. How much hour we do, but there is always learning when somebody else is presenting or showcasing their work. Uh, 
Mukesh ji, Anupama ma'am. Your pearls of wisdom, please. Good evening, everybody. Um, we learned a lot from the past two sessions and uh, through our own mistakes that we have made while setting the goal, while uh, you know doing the developmental discussions. And a lot of it has been shared by the teachers right now that what is the way forward for us. And uh, definitely next uh, term two, we will be able to you know, implement this in a much better way. That is what I would like to say. Uh, Siddharth, sir, over to you. Uh, one of the biggest uh, takeaways for me for today's uh, from today's presentation was uh, uh, the way uh, you know I, I saw I think Needham Ma'am's video, but the way the goal was uh, being made from uh, uh, you know a very vague goal to a specific goal. I think that was one of the biggest takeaways for me. So asking the right questions, ki aap kitne page lines likhoge. Kis samay se kis samay ke beech mein likhoge. I think those uh, were really, uh, really nice questions because, uh, uh, you know, I was reading this book called Atomic Habits. And, uh, uh, you know, the book is all about how to set the right habits. And har bar hum chahate hain, all of us want to do, uh, you know, meditation in the morning. We want to do exercise in the morning. But hum kabhi bhi time nahi set karte hain ki hum saath se sawa saath mein subhe exercise karenge ya hum bed se uthne ke baad pani piyenge aur pani piyene ke baad pehle turant exercise karenge. So what, uh, if you have to set the right habits, uh, the thing is called stacking. आपकी एक already जो एक habit है, उसके तुरंत बाद आप एक नई habit stack करिए, तो आपके mind को बार-बार process नहीं करना पड़ेगा कि नई habit कब करनी है। आपने अगर अपने mind को बता दिया कि मैं every day uh, उठते ही पानी पीती हूँ, if that is your habit, then you tell your mind that पानी पीने के बाद मैं exercise करूँगी। If if your mind understands that तो उसको बार-बार सोचना नहीं है वो ऑटोमैटिकली फिर इस रूटीन में चला जाएगा सो आस्किंग दोस क्वेश्चंस कि कितने बजे होगा क्या करेंगे एक्जेक्टली आई थिंक दोस वर बिग बिग टेक अवेज फॉर मी फ्रॉम टुडे सेशन एनी अदर टीचर फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द कैंपसेस हैव अ क्वेरी और यू वांट सम क्लेरिफिकेशंस ट If you have no question, there are two things that I understand. Either you were not attentive or you know it all. So you know it all that I refuse to believe. Because we all need to learn something or the other. Mukesh ji, are you there? We have another presentation by Yamini also today. Yeah. So I think we can proceed with Yamini's. Uh... Yamini, over to you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Oh. Aarti Mama, is my screen visible? Yes. yes. Okay. So again, a very good evening to respected director, sir, respected principal, ma'am, Anupama, ma'am, Kesh, sir, Pushpi, ma'am, and all my dear colleagues. Today, again, my topic for my presentation is accelerated learning. Uh, if you talk about acceleration, what is the first thing which comes in your mind? Anybody can unmute and speak. कि क्या आपके दिमाग में आता है अगर हम acceleration की बात करते हैं कि मेरे दिमाग में तो एक ही चीज़ आती है। Man car. Car accelerate. Car. 
if you see the cars here there are three pictures one car is moving very slow one is on average speed and one is very very fast and here if you want all the cars to reach at a place together ek destination pe pahunchana hai what will you do aap kya karoge agar hum teen car likhe ma'am increase the uh, distance for the uh, fastest car if if there is a distance like 10 kilometers and one is a slow car one is average and one is a fast one so what would you what would you do and we want everyone to reach at same time कुछ और भी एक्सपेक्ट करे तो जो ईजी हो जाए थोड़ा सा मैम तो करेंगे लाइक द स्लोअर वन को हम वो जो फास्ट वाली कार है उसके साथ वी कैन टाई विद रोप एंड देन बोथ ऑफ देन कैन गो व्हाई नॉट लेकिन हमको सबको साथ साथ में लेकिन हमको अकेले को अलग अलग भेजना है व्हेन वी वर स्मॉल देन द स्लोअर वन यूज्ड टू बी आस्क कि तुम थोड़ा पहले निकल लो फिर हम आ जाते हैं रास्ते में राइट सो दिस इज व्हाट आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग कि द वी आर गोइंग टू सेंड द स्लोअर वन राइट एंड दिस इज व्हाट द बेस ऑफ द एक्सेलरेटेड लर्निंग कि स्टूडेंट्स को हम अगर क्लास में वी डिवाइड द स्टूडेंट्स राइट वी डू वी कैटेगराइज द स्टूडेंट ओके दिस इज ही इज अ गुड लर्नर ही इज अ बैड ही इज फास्ट इज स्लो ही डू द क्विक थिंग्स वेरी क्विक इज इट इट वी डू दिस थिंग सो लेट्स डू एन एक्टिविटी आई होप एवरीबॉडी रिमेंबर देयर मार्क्स ऑफ प्रीवियस देयर 10th 12th एंड देयर ऑल एमएससी बीएससी और व्हाटएवर ग्रेजुएशन डिग्रीज यू हैव डन सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट जनाज मैम टू रीड आउट दिस and you have to find out ki what betsy is doing betsy has never tackled the cement mixer before although many fears cycle through her mind she has two main concerns handling the back door and the wall her confidence rose however as she reminded herself that if she could just get into the battle she had a good chance of winning especially if the conditions were cooking she stared out at the horizon shook her fist triumphantly in the air and shouted i will be the winner grinder i can handle the biggest hacker you can deliver so now anybody except some english teachers if anybody can first attempt can tell me what who is betsy and what betsy is doing so i won't take too much of time i just go ahead so you can see betsy is a surfer so, kisi ko anybody had this guess ki okay betsy would be a surfer you can give me answer yes or no no why because there are certain terms like back door wall even cement mixer when i read this i felt that really she must be maybe she was be making some wall or some road or something some building i don't know so without prior knowledge of betsy's particular sport true comprehension of this text was quite difficult and if you lack the schema of surfing reading this passage would feel the spark a connection so do you think we all are the bad learners are we a bad learners uh, no no no, no. we are not the bad learners now you just go through this you just see this you can have a look here are some terms and the definitions or the meanings has been given and what do you think if i would have shown this in advance to one of the teacher or some teachers and then ask them during the presentation so don't you think it would be have easier to uh, everybody or those teachers to understand the paragraphs yes so who defines good learners or bad learners why there is a battle every child has his own pace a child learns two different kids will uh, learn at two different pace right so these are the people who make them one is good learner or bad learner so accelerated learning is one of the tool so as a teacher hum kya kya jante hain for last one year we had lot of pd cell sessions and all ye sab kafi kuch ho chuka hai lot of coe trainings and lot of things so what we know 
you know, different phases of learning, you know, types of learners, you know, types of intelligence, we know active strategies and a lot of techniques. Lot we know about social emotional well being. We know how to do reflection, what are the assessment techniques, what are the different soft skills. That means we all teachers are well equipped. Isn't it? So, what is the next step we can do for the students who are at different pace? So we have to design the class as per the student need. I'm talking about the acceleration classes. Now, for this acceleration classes, this whatever I'm telling, it is was just my experiment. I'm not like pro with this, but I was just experimenting certain thing. And for that, first I was the person who have to be very clear okay, what this acceleration sessions or uh, learning is. So I just came through some uh, notes and all. So there were the three stages which were taught and the teaching learning cycle, one is preparation, presentation, and practice, and I read it something. But reading and proper application is two different things. So what is my experience and what are my learnings I want to share? So in my first stage, what I did, I started my accelerated class with set of four students of standard eighth. And I would like to share my some uh, learning what I did. The first thing is, it's very important that teachers mental preparation should be there whenever somebody tell ki aapko ab se remedial classes lene diye remedial classes ka hamare paas time table aa gaya ya ye time table aa gaya ab aa gaya bhai acceleration time table so sabse pehle ho jata my god one more burden on my head the thing is mental preparation is very very important then comes selection of learners because if you want to find out the if you want to help out the child so what help that child needs we have to very very particularly find out the child need and we have to find out the group of the child with the same kind of problem then very important what i thought we have to talk to the learner make the child very comfortably comfortable socially and emotionally we should talk about the benefits of accelerated learning and we should post positive sentences. I may say continuously positive sentences has to be posted to the children. And before starting up the class, we have to be very specific with the goals and we should set the goals along with the learner. So that the learner should be knowing what he has to do. Then what I did, I just went for the prior knowledge check of those students. I design some individual and some team-based exercises. I use some active strategies to make it much funful. And uh, some clarity for learning outcomes should be there. I did some problem solving exercises. The main important thing was I kept the duration of only for 10 to 15 minutes because it has been psychologically proven that our attention span is about 10 minutes. So if we design a lesson plan, even in the lesson plan, if you see like first five to six minutes should be for recap, then again, 10 minutes for the new topic. Again, you have to go for five minutes recap, then some explanation. You have to change it after every 10 to 15 minutes because to seek the attention time span of the child. We have to keep varieties and let the learner don't emphasize on the learner. Come to the class. Your time is this. So they will feel it is a headache, but make it so funful and nice that the child should be able to should ask it, madam, when we are going to take the class, why you have not taken the class now. And third, what I did, I did whatever was my learning, whatever I was prepared, I did on hands on practice, I did assessments and follow up. So, so I wouldn't want to show some example. So this is example standard eight student, the four students, and I was teaching the topic pressure exerted by liquid. So in first session, what I did, I went for the some prior knowledge check and I asked my student to just prepare some activity. We referred some books and we had a talk and they did this activity by their own. They understood what mistakes they have done, what are the real, what exactly that experiment is showing. And in the next class, I showed them picture because these my students were struggling with some reading and uh, but as they're in standard eight, I cannot take them back to standard four and come on street. So what I thought ki how to incorporate reading also along with their acceleration and uh, keeping my concept there. 
So in the class, I showed them some pictures and give them some laws. And I asked them to match it. So they matched it. Then I, I asked them to write these laws. And some students were struggling with the spellings like pressure, Pascal, force, Newton and all. So we did one activity of uh, finding the correct word, which I hope KG1, KG2 may bachche, bachche ko karwaya jata hai. Once they were confident with the spellings, they were asked to write down the laws and draw the pictures. But again, they, I saw there were again new spelling mistake, again some more problems were there. Then I, I thought ki I should design something more. But in the regular period, what I did, that I asked, I made a group activity. And in that group activity, these kids were with the group. And I could see that these students were able to perform the activity with a lot of confidence. So for different varieties, I asked them, I incorporate some bingo, crossword puzzle. I have, you can see one worksheet and bingo. On time, I thought ki they need some change. So we did bingo. In the third class, as we are, uh, 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 this is our one of the goal to put the critical thinking. So I asked the children to the critical thinking session. So in this session, uh, we I asked them to make a question. So a question was posed first to them that there are three containers and out of which one container is filled with water. And you have to fix pipe in such a way that equal amount of water should uh, enter. So you must be thinking that it's very quite simple for us. But I tell you, they were like scratching their heads at that time. So we discussed about the second uh, critical thinking was about Uttaranchal Dam incident because I wanted to tell that how the uh, pressure of water is like there is a law that uh, liquid exerts pressure on the wall of the container. Now here the container is the, the dam, the dam wall. So I asked them to make uh, answer me on this. Then I asked them to make a critical question for a regular period. So one of the child, he made this question. So I would like if anybody wants to ask, uh, give the answer for this. Like there are the three containers, A, B, C. Or A mein paani bharte ja raha hai. Or B or C mein paani bharna hai. A mein cap nahi lega, B, C mein cap lega hai. So which one will fill first? So what do you think? What is the answer given by standard seven students? Anybody can help me out to give that to get the answer. C will fill first, ma'am. C will first. So question was made by the child because when we are we when we were doing the session, we got so many answers also. Okay, C, B, and this kind thing. The question was three containers of different size, different volume are there, and uh, A doesn't have the cap, but B and C are capped. So this, we missed out this, that B and C are encapped. So only in my in class, when the discussion, then one child, he was able to answer that B and C ke upar hawa hai. And the, what, the, uh, you can see the uh, pipe dekhi. So do you think that, uh, that B and C will fill? It's A will fill. So this was the answer. We did it. And the next critical thinking question, first we have acceleration classes when I discussed with them about atmospheric pressure and all with the definitions and all. And the other day in the regular period, one of the child, I, this was my activity, the first one, which was in the acceleration session. And the second was regular period. He come up with different experiment. So I was very happy that uh, they got something new. They understood the concept. So in any session, it is very, very important to follow the cycle that first you have to identify the needs, plan and design, deliver, again assess, evaluate, again identify the needs. This cycle should go on. So these are some, I'll just show some students' testimonials, some students' feedback. Yeah, I am easy to learn, 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 lear
Then I knew, then I knew like, like I, 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 was I was confident to answer, to answer the questions, questions which you asked because, because I knew our, our topic, topic you are you gonna, gonna make, make a speech. speech. So what was my learning? So I learned that time management is very, very important. You have to take very small baby steps, very strong planning and proper execution of the 10 to 15 minutes and correct evaluation. After evaluation, make a new plan, repeat it. Very, very important. Just don't give up. Because at one time it happened with out of four, there was one student that I was struggling with that child and he was not doing. And I was so don't give up on your student. Don't and never ever say ki iske upar itni mehnat karne ke baad bhi ye ladka nahi kar pa raha ya ladki nahi kar pa rahi hai. This is what is my feeling. And continuous positivity has to be maintained. Every day you have to tell the child, you can do, yes, you can do. Keep patience. A lot of patience is required. And motivate these learners in regular classes also. And timely rewards. Like rewards, you don't have to give them, them chocolates or something. Just a good, very good, you did well. This is also a good reward for them. And what improved in my students, what is what I found, that a confidence, I could see these four students were confident enough when I was teaching in my class. And there was like one to one rapport. They could able to tell me their problems. Ki, Madam, I don't want to make this. I try to remember it. I also forget it. I have a fear of my father. I can't do it from my father. I can't do it from my father. These kids discussed with me. And they feel valued when, when we are in their class. What happens? Unknowingly, we teachers who are good in uh, studies. We don't have their names. We start taking their names. Sometimes, and if we don't become it, we unknowingly we do that. No one does not know anything. So they feel valued in their class when they were answering, they were participative and they were so enthusiastic. I could see that this is my real feeling that I really could see that level of participation, enthusiasm and then responsibility. Why I put responsibility for their learning? Because sometimes one time I forgot to go for the, the children were there and I forgot to uh, take the session. They called me, okay, Madam, please. I said, you have to go for your uh, NSAS activity. I'm just 10 minutes. Up, please. So that was my achievement. I really loved that. So I'm really thankful to everyone, to sir, to ma'am, to giving me the opportunity to share my experience. And I want to tell you that I'm still in the process of understanding what this uh, accelerate, accelerated learning better and implementing it in the classroom. But I just work with few children. So I hope. Um, uh, I would. I was able to tell my feelings to everyone. Uh, thank you, Yami, for a wonderful sharing. And two things that I really loved uh, about your interaction is using positive sentences for your students. The first step to encourage learning is when you have induced positive thought process in your students. We ridicule them or try to demean them. Even if, uh, if a child is very good in academics, he or she will fall flat. So positive reinforcement is much needed. And timely appreciation is another thing which uh, I think has been a good takeaway from your presentation that we need to really tap our children all the time that well done, you've done a good job. Acceleration is something if implemented in the rightful manner, it can really make a very, very positive change in the students and the teachers and everybody will turn out to be effective leaders of change. So for us as a group uh, of all the three schools, it's a uh, uh, pat on everybody's back that teachers have got into the thinking process and there are those baby steps of change happening. And I'm sure that is the actual progressive way forward. And we are implementing all these progressive approaches in our daily interaction with our students today. Anybody else would like to share their inputs or anything, please feel free to do so. Yes, sir. 
Uh, Yamini, that was a really nice presentation. Uh, so, so happy to see that, uh, you know, we are open to the idea of experimentation and we are learning through experimentation. Uh, I think uh, we are definitely a very, very uh, progressive uh, teacher and a leader. And I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, with you trying out accelerated learning, uh, you would definitely reap benefits and slowly pass it on to uh, the other teachers. Uh, one question I have uh, for you is, uh, how how many classes uh, do you think uh, were appropriate for acceleration such that the students started taking uh, you know interest in that topic sir for my experiment uh, i took first like 10 minutes per day but gradually then i felt that these children uh, requires alternate days is also fine once they are understanding the alternate and then we can reduce it for weekly one one time or two days it's fine depending upon their uh, and again we have to change it like if we feel that they are the concept is a little harder so at that time we can increase the acceleration classes more depending upon the situation and what kind of concept or topic we are teaching so and did it you should not be like uh, time bound with one uh, like I have this period, so I period may padangi. I can do if I have I'm free, and I could see in one in that class if I'm taking the acceleration class in eighth A, and that uh, class is having the proxy at that time. So I and I'm free, so I can pick up my students and you utilize that time for um, helping them them out. Sometimes it happens the two class is free and they, we just ask them to read out something or they are going for playing. Sometimes it happens. So we can pick up the students at that time and do the classes. We should not be like time bound. Ki mera acceleration time ka period hai, isi thi mein Why cannot we give them something? After school, we can do. Sometimes we feel thum, 10 minute, 15 minute ke liye we can call. Like yesterday, one of my child, Vansh, he is a part of this uh, acceleration. So daily he's sending me uh, 10, question, 10 spellings because he's weak in spellings of science only and sometimes of Hindi and giving me a paragraph. Daily he is giving it to me. Even in the uh, vacations he was sending on WhatsApp. So that was his interest. So he did that. So till until unless we develop the interest, the child uh, will not come to the classes, any class, whether it will be regular acceleration or remedial, anything, anything. So it's varieties and just teachers, confidence teachers. Uh, once a teacher should be like ready, always ready. Day to day she should be ready. Uh, to make improvement in that child. So that is what I said, don't give up on any of the student. They will take time. Maybe the same thing you have to repeat again and again, but don't give up on them. Definitely we get the result. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Yamini. Anybody else before we call it a day? Fine then, thank you everyone. It was a very enriching session and we look forward to many more such sessions from all the three campuses. And uh, Siddharthji will float us the next topic on which we are to uh, kindle our gray cells for the next presentations. Thank you all. Have a good weekend. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank you, ma'am.